Hello, welcome to Do It Yourself with Wayne. Today we're going to talk about how to sharpen your limb loppers, bypass pruners, trimming pruners, pruners. Uh, these things go by a lot of different names, but this is what we're talking about. Uh, these tools that you use for trimming tree limbs and trimming your bushes and hedges and stuff around your house, uh, they do get dull with age and with use, and uh, if you sharpen them, you know, they'll cut good again. And these things work a little differently than a lot of cutting tools. Uh, obviously, you got two blades here, but they are sharpened differently because they do different things. They work together, but they do different things. This one is, does not have a sharp edge. It has a squared off corner that needs to be really square. This blade, you sharpen to get it sharp, okay? This blade actually does the cutting this blade, all it does is keep the limb or whatever from moving away from this blade, okay? But in time, this blade's, uh, like I said, it's got a squared off edge. If that squared off edge gets worn and rounded a little bit, it don't hold the, the limb or whatever well, and it won't cut good. I'm gonna show you how to sharpen that and make this thing short, uh, cut good again. Now, if you've got hand shears like this, they cut the same way, you sharpen them the same way. Uh, now if you've got you know, scissors that you use out and around the house, in the I mean in the garden, in the yard, whatever, these work differently. There's a different type of cutting action and you sharpen them differently. I put a link up here to my video about sharpening scissors. If you've got scissors that you need to sharpen, watch that video, it'll tell you how to do it. Also, if you got something like this, uh, these were for cutting grass. I mean, this, these are probably older than I am, but they work just like a pair of scissors. That scissor cutting video will show you how to sharpen these if you got something like this you need to sharpen. Um, but anyway, moving forward, the things that you need. Uh, you don't have to have a vise, but it helps. Okay, and I'm gonna be using my vise here today to help hold the tool steady while I sharpen it. But like I said, you don't have to have it, but it helps. But you do have to have some files. You need two files. You need a round file, which is sometimes called a rat tail file, and you need a flat file. And they both need to be metal cutting type files. Uh, if you go purchase a file, you know, you can buy files of different types and for cutting different kinds of metals and some for wood. Make sure you get metal cutting files. Um, you can get a file like this that's flat on one side and kind of rounded on the other side. Uh, but the rat tail files I have found seem to work better. But if you get one like this, it's flat on one side, rounded on the other, you can use that as long as it's a metal cutting file. All right, now to show you what we're gonna do to start with, we're gonna work on this one. And I'm gonna show you how we cut it. And I'm gonna cut the little end of this stick because it's hard to cut. Almost had all my weight on that to cut through this little limb. That's um, part of a red tip bush, just to give you an idea of what it is. But to sharpen this thing, I'm gonna start with the squared off blade. And you wanna sharpen from the side that this blade comes against. So I'm gonna put it in my, my vise like this. Tighten it down real good and tight. Now this, this right here is where I want to sharpen. Now I want the, the file to be at a little bit of an angle so that this back here is a little bit lower than the side toward the blade that's actually cutting, okay? But that edge right there that comes against this blade, it needs to be squared off. And like I said, with use, it'll get rounded a little bit. You just need to make sure it gets squared off again. So we're gonna do this number. Now, one thing I found that I do sometimes by mistake is when you're doing this, you come back, you hit your top, top blade with your file. Try not to do that. Uh, it's not a killer, but try not to do that uh, because it will dull this blade even more. You're getting ready to sharpen it, but it's just gonna make it you know, more dull, so you have to work harder to sharpen it. But just work on this thing. Just making sure that You're keeping your file, you don't want it exactly flat, you want it tapered just a little bit down, 
so that you know this edge over here this like i said this against this blade gets a good squared off edge because that squared off edge is what's helping you cut all right that should be good for that part and we're going to turn this thing around i can get this thing turned the way i want it This is the one that does the cutting. Use your flat file. And just like a pair of scissors, this side of the blade is flat. That has not that does not have a bevel on the edge. It's just completely flat. Don't sharpen this side. Okay, if you do, it won't cut good. You want to sharpen this side. And if you look close at the, the edge, and I'll try to put a picture up here so you can see it a little bit better, the edge will have a bevel right near the edge from the manufacturer. You want to kind of duplicate that angle with your file. In my case, it's about like so. Okay. Take short strokes because you don't want to hit this blade. You can take these apart if you want to. I mean, most of them just got a, a bolt or two here that you can take them apart. Might make it a little easier, but I'll leave that up to you. I generally leave mine together to sharpen them, um, but you can take these apart. So I'm going to take and do a little bit more sharpening here. Just slow, easy strokes. And uh, just for those of you that don't know, when you're using a file, some people take that file and do this. And that kind of works, but that wears your file out quicker. I don't know if you knew that or not. But the best way to use a file is you push it, you lift it up, pull it back. Push it, lift it up, pull it back. Because the file is made to cut when you're pushing. When you're pulling it back, the, the sharp edges that actually do the cutting, you're just kind of wearing them down. So your files won't last as long if you do that. So just hold your file, do like this, and lift it up to pull it back. Okay. Now that's looking a lot better than what we did have. Might not be quite good, but anyway, that's how you do it. Let's take this out of the vise and see how it cuts now. Much easier than before, okay? Remember how I had to lean on that when I started? It's the same tool. It's just cutting that much better now because of that, just that little bit of sharpening. And I didn't do anything that you didn't see. Uh, this was a continuous video. So you saw everything I did to that pair of loppers and you just saw how much better it cuts now. So anyway, if you've got limb loppers, trimming loppers, bypass loppers, whatever you want to call them, and they don't cut good, that's how you sharpen them. And uh, so we just like to say thank you for visiting. Do it yourself with Wayne. Uh, we'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel and click like, and you know, if you find this useful, share it with your friends as well. And uh, we'd just like to say again, thank you for visiting. Do it yourself with Wayne. And we hope you have a great day.